All right. And so now we move on to part C, which is 744. So let's pull back up here our, uh, our Egyptian uh, numeral system. And so for 744, I'll look over here, and I'll, I'm going to use a bunch of scrolls, right, because they represent 100. So I'm going to need seven scrolls. So I'm going to draw the best I can here. Uh, seven scrolls, so one scroll, two scroll, three scroll, four scroll, five scroll, six scroll, seven scroll. All right, that's supposed to be 700 things, and then I have 40, so that's going to be four heel bones. Four, four, three, four, and then I have uh, four vertical staffs. One, two, three, four. Like that so that should represent 744 things. I can even go on, and let's just do uh, Part D uh, simultaneously. So I can do 1,258. How can I do that? I come over here, I need 1,000. So I'll draw a little lotus flower. All right, so my lotus flower looks like this. And then it goes down, and it has a little triangular pod here and little leaves. All right, so there's my lotus flower. And then I have 200, which would be just uh, two scrolls. All right, so they're my two scrolls. And then 58, uh, okay, so that's five heel bones, two, three, four, five, and then eight vertical stats, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so, you know, this further demonstrates this uh, difficulty with expressing uh, numbers with the Egyptian, Egyptian, the, the Egyptian numeral system, as you have to keep writing out all these symbols. All right, the Babylonian numeral system now, this one's a tough one. All right, so the idea is I have to fill up uh, these spots base 60. So the idea is you have uh, a one spot and you have a, a 60 spot. Now you don't need a 60 squared spot because if you look at 60 squared it's 3,600 which is again it's way too large. All right, 744 is much smaller than 3,600. All right, so first you have to figure out you know how many 60s do you have in 74 and the simplest way probably to do this right you ask the question uh, how many uh, how many 60s do I have in 744? Well, that's actually a division. So, you know, 744 divided by 60. Oops, too many zeros there. Hit enter, and it looks like we have 12. All right, so here I'll write 12. So I have 12 60s. Okay, so, so far, I've represented 12 times 60. 720, and so I have 24 uh, units left, and so I'll simply write 24 here. Right, so this number, 12 60s plus 24 ones, will give me the number 74, and now I simply have to translate it in terms of the Babylonian numerals, and so a 12 uh, looks like a little wedge with two vertical staffs. Get a nice big little space here, and then 24, you can look over there, and you, again, you get two uh, wedges, which is 20, and then four uh, vertical staffs. So one, two, three, and then this one is a four. Okay, so this is uh, the Babylonian numeral for uh, 24. Over here for 1,258, you do exactly the same thing. So again, you have a 1's position, you have a 60's position. There's not a 60 squared position for the same reason as before. 60 squared is 3,600. And so it's too big of a number to be used to represent 1,258. But you're in the same situation. You have to figure out, well, how many 60's do you have in 1,258? So you take your calculator. And let's move it over here so we can see it. And I'll take 1,258, and I'm going to divide it by 60. Hit enter. And so it looks like it's going to go into it 20 times. You don't care about the little fractional part. All right, so what I have here is 20 60. So the number that's represented so far is 20 times 60. All right, that's 1,200, and so I have 58 uh, little units to go, and so right here, I'll put a 58. And now, I can write these numbers in the Babylonian numeral system, so 20 is just two triangular wedges, like that. And then 58 is all the way down here, so that's going to be a pain to write, but you can see the symbol, but I'll, let's just write it right here. So take a little space, 
and triangular wedge, triangular wedge, triangular wedge, and there's five of them, obviously, and then eight of these staffs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So something like that. Okay, it's not perfect, but you get the gist. All right, so the Greek vowels now. Okay, so for Greek vowels, 744. Let's pull up. Let's pull up the uh, Greek numeral system here, so you can see it. All right, so for uh, the Greek numeral system, uh, let's pull it down a little bit. So what you have uh, is what. All right, so you need 700. So you look over here. There's 700 is a psi, and so I simply copy down uh, psi. It's a psi looks like uh, kind of like a U with a line through it. And then we have a 40. All right, so 40 is this mu, so it's kind of like a U. There's mu. And then we have a little 4, so 4 units, which is a delta. And so here's my delta. All right, so that would be 744. Over here, uh, for the Greek numeral, uh, for this, 1,258, well, um, the 1,000... Now let's start on the other side. Let's start on the 8. So the 8's easy, right? The 8 is just this eta, so it looks like an N. So there's eta. 5 represents 50, so you come over here and look at 50, and that's this new, kind of like a V. And then 200, when you come over here and you get this sigma, right? That represents 200, so we write down sigma. And here's where you have to think a little bit, right? So the idea this is the 1s, the 10s column. This is the hundreds, and if you start over, you get like the thousands column, the ten thousands, the hundred thousands. So for the thousands, you're just going to write an alpha. And we can even put a comma here, just like we do in our numeral system, to indicate you know this is actually a thousand and not a uh, one. And finally, the Roman numeral system, which you see right down here. All right, so for the Roman numeral system, uh, what we do is we say, okay, uh, 700. So look up here, we have 500, so we'll write a D. All right, so you can put a D here, that's 500. We need two more hundreds, so that's a C and a C, so CC. And then we need a uh, 44. So for 44, there are a couple ways we can do this. I could write an X and then an L. And because the x is uh, 10, which is less than the 50, and it appears on the left, this is actually 40. And then uh, 4 would be, what, an i and a v. And this should check, right? So 500, 600, 700, this is 44. Over here, we can write the 1,000. Right? So for 1,258, we are 1,000. We need 200. So again, 2 cc's, 2 cc. We need a 50, which is an l. And then we need an 8. So V, 1, 2, 3. All right, that should represent 1,258 things in the Roman uh, numeral system.